Fluoride is toxic. Root canals will kill you. If you want white teeth, then put lemons on them. These type of dental myths are damaging to public health. Let's talk. My name is Whitney and I'm a registered dental hygienist here to talk about dental health myths that are circulating social media. The three hot topics are currently fluoride is toxic, root canals are bad, and DIY teeth whitening is best. These myths spread from a combination of misinformation, misunderstandings, and the complex nature of scientific communication. Sometimes preliminary scientific findings are misinterpreted or taken out of context. For example, let's start with number one, the fluoride controversy. Studies showing toxic effects of fluoride at high doses may lead people to incorrectly assume that all levels of fluoride are harmful. This misinterpretation can spread widely before it's corrected or clarified. And on social media specifically, misinformation spreads rapidly. The repetition of unverified claims can lend them an unwarranted air of credibility. Despite extensive research demonstrating fluoride's benefits in preventing tooth decay and strengthening tooth enamel, Consistent misinformation portrays it as toxic and harmful. This misconception is often fueled by misinterpreted studies, like we said, as well as fear-driven narratives and marketing tactics from companies who are trying to sell their non-fluoride products. Fluoride is a naturally occurring mineral that strengthens tooth enamel and aids in the prevention of tooth decay. Those who claim it's toxic often forget that everything can be toxic at a certain dose. You can have too much oxygen in the air and you wouldn't be able to breathe because it would be toxic at a certain dose. I will link my fluoride toothpaste video and my water fluoridation video if you'd like to learn more. But I also had to quickly mention it here because lots of people are spreading this misinformation, either knowingly to sell their own product or unknowingly because they saw someone else say it and now they want to share it too. Next up, number two, root canals. One common myth about root canals is the belief that they trap toxins within the tooth leading to systemic health issues. This misconception suggests that the toxins toxins sealed within the treated tooth eventually spread throughout the body and cause illness. However, this belief is unfounded and lacks scientific evidence. The whole point of a root canal treatment is to remove the infected pulp tissue from within the tooth, disinfect the root canal system, and then seal the space to prevent recontamination. The procedure effectively removes the source of infection and prevents its spread to surrounding tissues or throughout the body. Simply said, root canals remove the infection. They don't create an infection. There was a documentary on Netflix spreading many root canal myths, but it was removed shortly after its release due to the lack of scientific evidence. The American Association of Endodontics, American Dental Association, and the American Association for Dental Research explained how the documentary was not based on facts and how there was a lot of correlation without causation happening. One of the main claims was something like 97% of people that have cancer also have root canals but they didn't back it up with any proof or research. What about the millions of people who don't have root canals and still have cancer? Or the people who have had root canals that don't have cancer? There are no studies to be found showing any percentages of anything regarding this nature. This is a good example of correlation without causation. My favorite analogy of this is people at the beach. So say 90% of people attacked by a shark ate ice cream that same day. The ice cream in their stomachs did not cause the shark attack. It just so happened that lots of people at the beach were eating ice cream, especially if there's an ice cream stand at that beach, right? This is just an example of correlation without causation. Overall, most of the claims made in the root canal documentary were not supported by robust scientific evidence and often relied on anecdotal cases rather than comprehensive studies. Personal stories can be compelling, even if they don't represent the broader reality. If someone believes that a root canal caused an issue for them, they might share that story, contributing to the myth. And now more and more people are sharing this one story that may not be based on reality. Speaking of personal stories, now let's talk about number three, teeth whitening. Do it yourself or DIY teeth whitening methods using household items like lemon juice and activated charcoal have gained popularity online despite the potential risks they pose to dental health. First of all, lemon juice is acidic and an acidic environment in the mouth is what causes cavities. So don't put lemons on your teeth. You're literally giving yourself enamel erosion which will lead to cavities. As for abrasive materials like charcoal, here's the interesting thing with this one. Brushing with charcoal may make teeth appear whiter at first, so you may have heard someone rave about this one online. However, did you know that it can actually cause irreversible damage to tooth enamel, leading to increased tooth sensitivity? Enamel 
erosion and gum irritation, some of these DIY whitening hacks do work for a short while because they are scratching away layers of your enamel, showing off the next new white layer, then the next new white layer, then the next new white layer until there are no more layers left. You can brush and brush and brush with activated charcoal until you scratched all the layers of your enamel off. What's under enamel? Something called dentin, which has a natural yellow tint. So over time with charcoal, you can literally brush your teeth yellow. You're not always getting the full story when you hear people online telling you that something worked for them. When people are using firsthand stories to prove their point, there's so many variables and factors that go into firsthand stories. Again, correlation without causation. You can't hear a firsthand story and call it a fact. Just because something worked for one person doesn't mean it will work for you. Or again, maybe it did work for them, but you didn't get the full story of how although it worked for them in the beginning, over time it took a bad turn and damaged their teeth in the long run. There are so many variables to take into account with firsthand stories. You're not getting all of the information. Overall, DIY whitening methods are often ineffective and may result in damage to your enamel. And please be aware that enamel does not grow back. I will We'll link my how to safely whiten your teeth video below if you want to learn more. But for the purpose of this video, hopefully it just helped you understand how misinformation spreads, specifically dental health misinformation. If you ever have specific questions about your dental health, my best advice is to always consult with your dentist and or your dental hygienist to determine what's best for your individual mouth. Without a strong background in science, it can be challenging to differentiate between credible scientific studies and pseudoscience online. This can lead to public confusion on what to believe, especially if the pseudoscience confirms existing biases or fears. You know you can find data on just about any topic you're looking for to align with what you want it to say. It's all about interpreting the data correctly. Recognizing when there are design issues and flaws in research, such as insufficient sample sizes, control group issues, inconsistent results, randomization. If the study results you are using to prove your point was based on say five people, that is an insufficient sample size and confirmation bias is happening. And I hope this video helped you. Let's all be nice to each other in the comments section. This is a generalized dental health informational video. We're trying to help improve dental public health here. We're not trying to get into cyber arguments. If you have individual questions, comments, concerns, please talk with your individual dental provider and share this video if you think it will help someone. And if it helped you, please like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. Thank you to the YouTube members here and the Patreon members supporting this channel and supporting dental health awareness. If you want to join the fight in making sure evidence-based dental health information is being shared online, become part of our Teeth Talk community. The links to join are in the description box below. And until then, I'll see you on Instagram at Teeth Talk Girl. Peace, love, and teeth.